All right, what's happening here? I'm on DBZ Space Popular Dragon Ball Legends website for information regarding the game. You know, it's pretty interesting right now what's happening for... The, I mean, we're approaching now Legends Festival 2022 uh, in a few days, and my god, it's felt like two months, three months since the last Legends Festival then introduced the Blue Boys. And so much has happened since then. I mean, it's been a really great year personally for me, so Legends has just been a side entertainment, mainly just to laugh at how it changes, corrupts itself, brings itself down, up, and then even further down. But, uh, not, not the greatest game, that's for sure, but I can find at least my enjoyment in putting a bit into it. I don't put any money into it. Though I'm pretty sure I did spend about $10 one time. But I forgot about that. Anywho, I was just here thinking about comparing some of these characters. Uh, how they, th how I feel like each team is right now. I mean, we got a lot of characters here. If we go here on tags, I mean, let's let's look at some of the the tags. I'm not talking about these bullshit ones. Absorption Angel, flipping ex even this one event exclusive, but the God of Destruction. These are just tags that are extra identifiers. Sometimes they're used for like certain times when they want to filter, like in Legends of Battle Royale, or they just make up new ones because they're. Not a super cares about these tags. They don't have the abilities for them. That's the simplest thing. I think Android is a very interesting case. This one peaked at flipping April. Like, what else can I say? It peaked in April. You didn't have so much competition like you do now, namely with Beast Gohan. I mean, Cooler, but Cooler is mainly... Cooler wasn't really... And even, like, Trunks, um before it, and even even Broly, I would say, were like stepping stones, and they mainly ended up being the stepping stones that helped support Beast Gohan and the new movie team, you know what I mean? They weren't really big competitors to the androids, though they were starting to bring up competition. It was the arrival of Beast Gohan that really shunned out the androids, tag androids. I feel like they're still super underrated. Same thing with other characters like um, MUI Goku, uh, even Zenkai Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, and Vegito. But anyway, that's a different story. Still, though, they've definitely been a vastly unpopular team right now. Like, Androids is still not that bad. I mean, LF Cell is a pretty well built, well -built uh, offensive character with some great utility against the current meta, namely hybrids. Even Revival Gohan, God forbid, Revival Gohan's not going to have a good time against this guy, let me tell you what. But hybrids in general are not built, he's kind of built to counter them, but it's not super efficient. But, I mean, he's still a great damage dealer, so there is definitely that. He has a nice cover change, um, his unique gauge, once he gets that, of course, every, everything just hits pretty hard. He has some good mechanics on his green card, I definitely like that. Um, and then combine that with just the absurdity matrix of how many abilities you tag androids can use. Just a very big oppressive for, uh, force that's definitely been mitigated, though, with these new characters, new arrivals. And then you have people like Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, namely Gamma 1. Gamma 2 kind of sucks a bit, in my opinion. Not quite up to the level of his brother. But uh, Gamma 1 with the Vanish Root recovery, um, he has just better damage. And I feel like he's just super powerful. I mean, that green card is one of the best green cards in the game, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, he can just be an extra force to do some more damage and kind of scurvy you around because he can just look, restore his vanish so many times. But, anyway. Android's definitely, like, in B tier, B plus tier team right now. Even though I feel like the tag androids are underrated. They're still being heavy, heavily oppressed with all this new competition. But I can definitely tell you that Tag Android 18, she's she's pretty good counter against Beast Gohan. I mean, she permanently nullifies endurance. She has type advantage. She does a pretty good amount of damage, especially when you first switch out, switch in with her. Like it, it can't be that bad. Like using Tag Android 18, getting like a full combo. If you get a blue card, that's gonna be deadly. You know what I mean? Those blue cards hit it almost as hard as on ultimate. 
But anyway, let's move on to another one here. What about, how is Fusion Warrior doing right now? Fusion Warrior is still good. Um, it's definitely better than Android, but uh, again, it is feeling some opposition. I think what was really trying to tie down the knot, he like was putting the knot on the Saiyan meta that was occurring throughout the anniversary. Saiyans were super strong. I mean, you got MUI Goku, you got Dragon Fist Goku, and then you got Ultra Super Vegito. All of them were Saiyans. And then Super Saiyans are trending even harder. Now with Fusions, now with Ultra Vegito and Ultra Gogeta making the most malicious pair. Um, Fusions was really strong, even Super Saiyans. Mixing up the uh, mixing them up with Bardock made a lot more scary a combo than you could think for a blue blue yellow team. But even putting them with another Super Saiyan, I think Ultra Broly definitely works pretty well with Super Saiyans. But that's a oh, we're talking about Fusion right now. Um, Fusion Warriors still got the two Ultras, which I think are some of the best synergizing units in the game. Um, but yeah, they're just super big oppressive forces that can help each other out in certain fields that they lack, which is not that much. And then throwing, like, another wild card, like, um, I know that there were a lot of uh, blue Vegitos back then because the androids and MEY was really popular, so it was not a fun time to be playing Mono Red, which is my main team for some reason. It doesn't work that bad, though. I'm using Mono Red with... Um, flipping MUI Goku, Androids, and Zamasu, the corrupted Zamasu. Works better than you would think, but um, even against Peace Gohan. I just have to make sure I try to get an Android 18 as soon as possible, that's all I'm going to say. No, what was I going to say again? Uh, Blue Vegito, um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, hopefully, he does have his Senkai buff now. I don't think it's really good on this team though, I don't know uh, flipping full power for Goku's the ability. But, yeah, if this, I mean, if this guy gets his Zenkai soon enough, then who knows what he'll end up doing. I don't think they're going to really uh, force it out and just make it terrible like they did with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think the these two Ultras definitely carry the team. But this guy, this guy, and I guess this guy too, they can definitely put in some work. To, uh, as a third wheel to help out this team. It's not really super color kind of, but again, the main thing that really put Flippin, I was getting onto that, but then I was cut off. The thing that really kind of oh, was putting the stake into Fusion Warrior and Super Saiyan, which well, let's be honest, the two best units here are Super Saiyan. So, well, yeah, and like even Super Vegito is Super Saiyan as well. What was I gonna say? It was cooler. Cooler is just such an oppressive force against Super Saiyans. LOE was always just kind of a thorn in Super Saiyan's side. It's kind of ironic, of course. But um, LOE is always hated Super Saiyan. You got Chilled, you got just every LOE unit doing extra damage to Saiyan and whatnot. And then, of course, you got Cooler now. He is type advantage against um, Super Vegito, but he goes type neutral against Super Saiyan. So even then, that's just like a screw you. He's not going to be getting extra damage um, dealt to flipping Ultra Gogeta. He's not going to care. He has highly oppressive strike damage. Lock in with the strike, which makes him a perfect kind of assassin unit that can ramp up a lot of damage quickly to kill a character before the opponent. I mean, the, yeah, the opponent has an opportunity to switch away. He does extra damage against Super Saiyan. His kilt is just his kit is probably the best built to counter Super Saiyan. Um, Super Saiyan units, then Chilled, but with Chilled it's Bardock, so... But yeah, besides Chilled with Bardock, he's the best counter to Super Saiyan. Um, that is really what started killing this team, and now with other units coming back to shine, Ultra Broly is not going to help enough, especially since Ultra Broly is used on movies, Beast go on and one up, and they've tried to kick this one down. But Super Saiyan Fusion, they're going to come back forever. I mean, honestly, I think this video is going to get too long if I try to dissect everything. Android, I feel like, is definitely going to sit back for a while. Um, Fusion Warrior, not really. I mean, like, especially with Legends Festival, let's be honest, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is probably coming out. Fusion Warrior is always going to keep its leg back up in the game. Right now, it's mitigated. It's still a great team, but it's just not the ideal team. And it has a massive counter in the form of Cooler right now. 
But with new, better units, especially since, like, if they get Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he's obviously not as prone to Cooler's Wrath since he's not a Super Saiyan. But, um, you know, especially during these festival times, because, well, you know... So Super Fusion Warrior, especially during festival and anniversary, they're always going to be keeping their leg in the meta, no matter what. I don't think there's ever really been a time where they've been really bad in the meta, but I could be wrong. I don't think they're even bad now, but anyway. Some people like to wank off all the new units. Think that if you're not using Beast Go on, you just suck. Any team besides hybrids and movies sucks. Simply not true. Hybrids, definitely very good right now. I mean, movies is better, but hybrids with Beast Gohan, you got a combination of like Trunks to use, the green one, a yellow Future Gohan, Red Pan, they did, they've got a lot of good synergy together. I like that over sometimes using like Piccolo. And I mean, I think movies team with like Broly um, and then like Pan or Cooler, and then of course Beast Gohan, it's definitely better than like Beast Gohan. A pan and maybe like a future Gohan or a green trunks, but still very great team. Uh, powerful opponent. Let's just look at this real quick. Like it's still doing good. Um, like this guy, this guy, and then who's the other one? Oh yeah, cooler too. Like you got really good reds. You got the best one of the best purple. I mean the best purple really in the game right now, but one of the best units. Super big tank, really good offensively, and then you can like throw in, they don't really have much besides purples and reds, like they have a lot of good reds and purples, like even Jiren, perfect cell cannot be that bad for, I mean Jiren's still a powerhouse, and uh, with the androids mile out the meta with 90% of people not using them anymore, like 99 probably, he doesn't have that fear of permanent endurance nullification, this guy again I talked about him earlier, um, but yeah, besides that, like, you have to resort for, like, Revival Frieza for your blue, maybe Kid Buu. Um, this guy for your yellow, maybe Tapion, I guess, he can work too. Not bad support, especially if you don't have Pan. Um, and then green. <laughs> what do you have for your flipping green? This guy. Uh, yeah, that Broly, I mean, I, I got him 14 stars. He's my first 14 star unit on my new account, which was actually made in Legends Festival. Um, it's not my main account, but I made it be to get Trunks, because I already had an account with Blue Boys, and then I wanted to make another account for, uh, Trunks, and, um, yeah, I ended up, uh, getting Trunks, that was funny, I ended up shifting to that account, that's my new main account now, that's the only account I use, it's just been getting pretty good since then, and yeah, let's, uh, look around here a little more. I mean, Powerful Opponent is still like an A tier team, but it needs more refinements in the other color sections, that's for sure. Sun Family's pretty good, behind hybrids and whatnot, though, in my opinion, even though it's got MUI. And a couple others, like Ultra Kaioken, the, the Blue Boys, this guy. Maybe even this guy. I think a team of Beast Gohan. One, either Ultra Instinct or Pan is your red. And then you could use, like, Revival Gohan, maybe the Blue Boys. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm taking some units that have been a little bit power crap, but maybe, like, Dragon Fist Goku. But some of them are also, of course, underrated still. Like, this, I'll show you. I've been doing really good with a term, tournament of power team right now. Where the hell is it? Here we go. Universe Survival Saga. Literally this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and Flipping God Destruction Beerus. They still hold up really well. And I'll show you another team that's even funnier that I've still been using, and it's still actually been doing a lot of damage. But I know I've been going up against like Zenkai Saiyan teams, Beast Gohan movie teams, um, Coolers, Beast Gohans, Ultra Brolies, pretty high start. I'm not talking 14 start, but I'm talking still like at least 7 start. And, um,. Like Ultra Gogeta's and whatnot, I've still been winning against these teams. But uh, this team is still really good. I mean, Ultra Instinct Goku's definitely got the stall. He's main offensive force. Jiren's the building up powerhouse that just generally has good damage and defense. And also kind of controls the player's rush. This guy having the rush buffs and this guy having the last man is a great combination. This guy, of course, is just a general annoyance. He's the 
combo maker. He's also got a lot of Vanish Restoration, which is really good. Um, Golden Frieza is not a bad counter at all to uh, Beast Gohan. He's not only color countering him, but he has anti-blast armor, which makes him do like 150% extra blast damage to blast armor. So if you're able to get lucky and catch Beast Han in like a blast armor moment, you might be able to kill him if he's low enough health. But he's generally a good unit. I mean, like like Dragon Fist Goku, I just realized this with both of these guys. They're glass cannons. Golden Frieza has some of the best healing in the game. And he's not even regen, but uh, you know how Frieza be, but anyways. Uh, they're both glass cannons. He does not tank that great. At all. Um, besides that, his blast damage has been windering compared to more modern units too. While his, st his strike damage is still abysmal, so there's that. Uh, his blue card's damage is still pretty good though. So yeah, generally still a great unit. God Destruction Beerus' his damage is not holding up as much. I think his defenses aren't as bad though, he still tanks not that bad. His damage is still not bad to be fair. It's still doing pretty good. His blue card is still one of the highest damaging blue cards, I feel like. Maybe not now, but definitely not now, but it still just does so much damage. And he has a perfect green card, blue card combo. You know, flipping cover nullification, anti revival, and endurance on both his and his blue cards. So, I mean, revival Gohan is going to have a tough time. And of course, you do have people like Beast Gohan and Future Gohan that have endurance on some of the popular teams right now. So, you know, he can deal with that pretty easily. He's not even, like, again, blue is a great color because, and that's been the trend with a lot of times when you have meta units. They don't have a good co color counter. Like, um, you get what I mean? Like, Beast Gohan is blue. Naturally, I know he has type nullification, but that doesn't, you know, like, yeah, like even Ultra Gogeta and other characters have had type nullification, but it hasn't really mattered. They can still be color countered at times, and even Beast Gohan needs his, his gauge, his, but anyways, you get the point. He is blue. He's weak against green. Greens are probably one of the worst colors in terms of the representation they have in the game. Especially since they don't have relevant tags in teams like movies. Like, you do have good characters like Golden Frieza, but even they aren't top-tier characters that aren't like good right now. Back in April, maybe. Even Anniversary, but... Like, let's look at um, some of the top teams. Let's look at flipping movies. Where do we have here? Sagas in the movies. Here we go. What greens do we have here? I think the best green here is Dragon Fist Goku. Yeah, maybe maybe this guy and then Gamma 1. None of these guys are top tier. Dragon Fist Goku is the best in my opinion. He's not only a glass cannon that beats Gohan even without type neutrality can slowly put a good beat down on pretty quickly. But, um, again, the, he also doesn't do all that much damage. And he doesn't use that often at all. It's mainly because even if he is able to work good as a color counter to Gohan, he's just not good enough for a unit to be used all that much. When was the last time you see... It's very important that no matter how good some units can be, they can be overlooked by people in the meta. Even if Dragon Fist Goku had better damage and much better defense. If they, if he's not used as much as like, he is now in the meta, you know, he's not used at all. Almost at all, at least. I barely see him. So, you know, the problem is that Beast Gohan doesn't have units, green units, that can really counter him like that. There's not enough, co there's not enough color counter to him. You don't see a lot of good green units, if any at all sometimes and that's the problem right he's able to get away with it a lot and again of course it's not like even if you have a good green like dragon fist on your team it's the end of the world because of his tech neutrality that is not bad like even though it doesn't last long he gets it on his best on his blue card which can allow it to do a lot of damage especially with how it's paired with the gauge it works very well this tech neutrality in my opinion um, not as good as like Ultra Gurgita, but still, pretty good. At least in how the type neutrality is applied, you know what I mean? Ultra Gurgita gets for like 10-15 seconds, 
every single time and his ally is defeated. So, um, I mean, honestly, Beast Gohan is more for the hard hitters. Ultra Gogeta is for him, like, the long term, obviously. To keep it afloat long. Yeah, it's just how I see it, I guess. Hmm. Who do I think is the strongest android? I think it's probably pretty easy. The tag androids are still the strongest androids. Gammas and Cell don't quite come close yet, even though Cell has some anti-hybrid sand and revive. The Gammas have movies. Um, best future character, strongest future character. I probably have to say it's this Green Trunks. Great teams, amazing offenses. Um, I don't actually know. Does he have cover? No, I don't think he does. But still, he's able to do really powerful amounts of damage. So, what more to say? He's doing pretty good in this meta right now. He's thriving, that's for sure. Best GT unit, I mean, it's going to change a lot during Legends Muscle. There's no doubt in my mind about that. But right now, it's definitely still Gogeta here. You can already do this guy, but I feel like he just generally does a lot more things better. Especially now if we put him at his peak with the uh, Zenkai buff. I mean, he has more than one Zenkai buff, but you get the point. He has another one now. Uh, best powerful opponent unit. It's probably going to be Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. One of these two, that's for sure. I think Legendary Super Saiyan Broly is generally better. It's just, he is such an amazing tank. Probably the best tank he's seen in. Even better than Ultra Vegito. Just imagine the two on the same team though. Ultra Vegito and Super Saiyan Broly. But anyways, that's just mega defense, crack defense. But still, he can do great damage. He has a high damaging blue card and ultimate to help up for his lack of damage if you build him that way too. And he has some great utility. Again, like the gauge is mainly defensive utility, so you can get him, your opponent off your back, but still, it just works so well, especially with the teams he's got. Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and then movies, powerful opponent. But yeah, I would say it's a Broly. LOE. Where is it? Right here? It's cooler. I mean, gold, yeah, no, no, it's fucking cooler. Well, what, I, I wasn't trying to say that they're better than them, but, um, like, if we're looking at second place, it's Golden Frieza. And a third place is probably one of these three. Mecha Frieza, Full Power Yellow, or this guy. You know, I used to remember when these two were, like, debated with in my head. That was a fun time. That was back in, like, January, February. I think it was around Jan to Feb. When Shield and Full Power Freezes and Kai came out. Yeah, let me see here. Uh, hybrid Sand. Yeah, I, I, th I don't know. It's a tough choice here. It's a tough choice here. I really don't know what it could be. I mean, there's a, there's a good few units here it could be. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I'll skip that one. Sun Family... Again, there's a lot of units here it could be. I just, I can't really point my finger. Okay, but being realistic, if we're going for like a second place, it's probably MUI Goku. Or Pan. Pan. Or at least right now, Pan. And then it's MUI Goku. And then it's probably Future Gohan, Super Saiyan 3, Dragon Fist, something like that. This guy too. Yeah, let me tell you one thing. I told you about that one team that was I was I was using so well. Um, besides tournament of power. And keep in mind my Jiren, my L of Jirens are like three stars. So I'm not even using really nearly as full potential, but anyway, I don't have enough L of Z power. I really wish she comes back on some better banners. I really hope some good LFs like Dragon Fist and whatnot, they come back on these good Legends Fest banners. I think they will though. If we're looking back at last year. Uh where was it? It was this one. Event exclusive. You know who I run? I run this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, um, this guy, this guy. I think that's a 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. That's an infected team. Super Saiyan Goku Red, the newest one. This yellow trunks. This purple Super Saiyan Gogeta. This purple Terminator Power Goku. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, that's also blue. And green Tien. This guy has some great vanish restoration, key recovery, and blast damage. Even his strike damage isn't bad. This guy has some not bad defenses, good support, and can just do a hell of a lot of damage, especially when he uses his main to be like a kill that like short spurt of super big damage cover null too. This guy just has some generally good offenses. I don't use him that much. And he is overrated to be honest, but when it comes to when I really need him, his offenses are pretty good. But I usually use this guy mainly because you should probably replace Super Gogeta for like a more like a buffer unit then. This guy I mainly use because his offenses aren't all that bad. It's mainly the main ability as like that wild card that I can use. Using like three blue cards to just incinerate the whole game. That's hilarious. This guy is really just meant to be a generally good unit that can deal some damage. But it's that main ability that can really change a game. But I can see why that's just too much of a risk to take, right? Too much of a bet that that main ability is going to be able to do something. There are a lot of ways to counter it, too. Um, there's not too much more to him after that, right? Not at all. Just another reason a great buy up about this guy, but I don't like him too much. But this guy does some good damage and really great utility. Those blue and green cards work so well together. This team has been doing really good. Really good. I just... Like, I pulled it together after I saw one guy just pull up, destroy this meta with green Goku Black. You know that old one? And it's a really good example that... Yes, of course, these units have been power crept, right? These free-to-play units, green Goku Black, they're still not nearly on the level of power and of how they've been made compared to people like Beast Gohan and the recent LFs ever since... Really, ever since 2021, let's be honest, Legends Festival, but that, you get the point. But, um, what was I going to say? They can still put in work, and if used in the right situations, do some really good stuff. I mean, Green Goku Black can still cut through Beast Gohan if he has type uh, advantage pretty quickly. Especially if he ranks up those green cards. This Trunks can do a lot of damage, especially on his main. This Goku does good damage, has a lot of Vanish Restoration, so he's going to be hard to hit. And this Goku's blue cards still hurt like hell. That's what we can at least have for hope of this game. A lot of people have been theorizing, thanks to some new data leaks, that whatever character we get for Legends Fest this year will have a mixture of an ultimate card and those purple Awaken cards. And I really see, hope we see more of those purple Awaken cards since I think they can bring more utility-wise to the game. Um, because again, the, the Awakened cards in the past have been a lot of different things. So hopefully certain characters to have different purple cards that allow them to use niche abilities that can bring them even if they're not too strong in the future. I'm not talking about someone like, I don't know, Hero Hercule. But I'm talking about certain like supports maybe, you know what I mean? That can end up providing an integral, I don't know... Like, I guess Bardock, maybe not quite as bad as Bardock, but I don't really mean support in the sense that they buff the units. I mean support in the sense that their green card can, can definitely change, and their awakened card can definitely change the game. But who knows, I just want more utility and versatility in the game. I just want them to do more with the purple cards. Who knows what this one will be? Maybe it will be like an attack and a fusion. But it could be like an LF animation at the same time, I don't know. It's going to be a mixture of an ultimate card and a purple card, though. Probably going to have like a tag SSJ4. That's at least what the most common prediction is. And I remember, I think that was during MUI time, where everyone was thinking it was going to be like for the MUI reveals and stuff. Everyone thought it was going to be SSJ4 tag unit, but they didn't end up coming out. We'll see. I think it probably is going to be due for this time now. Um, even other people were saying it's not going to come now in uh, Anniversary, it's going to come in Legends Fest, so we'll just have to wait and see, but again, definitely hope they have some really cool and niche uh, purple cards that can really end up doing some incredible things, maybe like, I don't know, huge debuffs, 
like you attack someone and then they get so many debuffs maybe a giant heal like you transform and then you just mega buff your team uh, maybe you do something like with a new effect like obscure maybe you just obscure your opponent's cards for like a full flip in 30 seconds i don't know is that too op maybe do something like that you know what i mean obscure i really hope gets played more maybe one of the one percent sparkings would have some kind of ability like that but yeah just do more just be more creative legends and don't power creep too much don't get too much into the bad side but um play around definitely play around in a way that makes the game more fun and enjoyable than ever and unique really just make it like how the og dragon ball was compared to z and super you know what i'm talking about